All right, guys. Okay, come, yeah, come around and let's make a circle. Yeah, let's make a circle. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, tonight. So let me explain. Yeah, let me explain again how important it is to pull for your whole throws. Okay. For example, uh, Sasha, you sure? It's fine. Okay. So. I explained yesterday, okay, this this whole week, how important it is to pull for your, you know, four throws. So, for example, you know, so this is considered backwards throws. Okay, o u c h i g a Okay, o u c h i throw, boom. This is backwards throw, and o u c h i throw, backwards throw. To me, so four throw means. So, here, so, so like a morote senage. Of course, ippon senage. Uchimata. And, so, tayatoshi. So, four throws. Again, any four throws, you have to pull to get your opponent's off balance. So, you can sit down. No, you can sit down. You can relax. Okay, this is a very a common mistake. You know, common mistake that. Again, I showed you like more the same. Okay, one more time, I'm gonna throw again. Yeah, this is you know, this is more. This called it's called more the same. Okay, two hand s h o u l d e r throw. So I pull, right? I pull. So I pull to get get him off balance. So that it, you know, I can I can uh, finish my throw. But a lot of people don't pull. To get them off balance, and what happens is here, even if I get in fast, <laughs> so what's happened? So nothing. Okay. So one more time. So my pulling hand. I'm right-handed. Okay. I'm right-handed. So raise your hands who's right-handed. Most of you I know. Then left-handed. Some of you. Yes. Yes. If you're left-handed. Just you know, so your right arm is your pulling hand. Hand, okay, and then you like your right hand, your left, right arm is your pulling hand. I'm right-handed, so my left arm is my pulling hand. You know, this this is my uh, pulling hand, my left hand, my left arm. And uh, okay, as you pull. So you pull like this here to me, like this, so that again I can uh, get him off balance. I want to break. I have to break his balance by pulling. Right, one more time. Here to here like this. So first of all, you have to pull fast, right? So if you pull slowly, so what happens? <coughs> you know, I'm not going to be able to uh, break his balance. You have to pull fast and snap. Snap. Okay. And uh, as you pull, okay, the pinky comes up. Okay, the pinky comes up like this, and uh, your elbow goes up like this. This is how you know you uh, you pull. One more time. So from here, you can sit. Can you sit? Okay, from here to here like this. So here, the pinky comes up as you pull like this. Then. Elbow goes out, yes. and this way, right from here, the pinky comes up, and elbow, you know, goes up. This is how, you know, this is how to pull again okay. here to here, here to here. And still, some of you are like a pull like this here, or like a pulling like. Like this, you know. You don't need to pull like arch like this. So pulling straight, okay, here to here. Not uh, pulling, not this angle, not this arch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not like this. But pulling just from here to here, like straight line. From here to here, straight line. Here to here, just boom, straight line. You're pulling upward, okay. Not just pulling towards you, okay. Not pulling towards you, but pulling little up. 
and diagonally upward. Okay, and uh, again, if I pull, I can uh, break his balance. Again, here to here. This is the ideal position for any four strokes. So once again, if you don't pull, or, okay, so the technique doesn't work. All right, so make sure, once again, when you go, like you should me practice, every time, so let's focus on your pulling hand, pulling hand, and to get him off balance each time. Every time you get in, again, here, and pull, to get your opponents off balance every time, each time. Right? Once again, so this is how a lot of people do it. No point. So, you pull, and then now the timing. Okay, the timing of pulling is you step fast. Okay? Like a more energy. You step fast. You step first, which one you step first. Okay? You step and pull. So again, you step, you step and pull. Why? Because if I pull first, I might get pulled. Then I might get off balance. This way. You know what I mean? You don't want to pull first. You don't want to pull fast. You pull, oh, I might get pulled to his body. You know what I mean? Now if you if you stay fast, now I'm I'm stable. I, I'm strong enough to pull him to this way. Yes. Would you also use your legs when you're pulling? Uh, yes. Yeah. I use my whole body actually. I use my not just arm. Not the arm, yes, that's right. That's a good point, thank you. And uh, you're not the robot, okay? You don't wanna pull like this. Uh, uh, you don't wanna pull like this, okay? So let's make sure you use your whole body, especially your knees. You step and pull and rotate. You can, yeah, you can use the whole body. It's not about using your arm. Okay, not, uh, not your arm strength, but this is about like all, all the moves, all the muscles, especially your knees. Okay, so today we're gonna do this drill that, so to use your whole body, okay? Again, this is a bad example. Oh, uh, uh, this is a bad example. Instead, relax, bend your knees, come up and pull. One time, relax, and uh, you know if you can, you, you can relax your knees like this. Okay, you can uh, go down, go down like this, and as you come up, as you come up, pull. As you come up. To use your whole body. So one more time. So before you pull, my weight is onto my my right foot, my right leg. But as I pull now, my weight shift to my back back leg. Okay. Doing okay. One more time here. Shift your weight from the front leg to the back to the back leg. Again, so here, relax and bend your knees and come up and then pull slack. So pull fast. Pull fast like this. So it's going to be look like here. Again, relax. Go down and stop. Pull. Pull. The other way. Again, relax. Bend your knees and as you come up, pull. Pull, pull like this. So by doing this drill, 
we're going to learn how to pull you know, more effectively, more efficient, okay? More efficient. Okay. Again, go down, bend your knees, come up, and pull, snap. Here, snap. Here, pull, snap like this. So we're going to be uh, more effic you know, efficient. And you can apply this, the same pull for your any of your, uh, so four throw. Okay, so pulling is so one, one, one of the most important uh, things, yes, for your so four throws. Okay, so any questions so far? I said, you know, pull the way he's facing, but technically, okay, you don't want to pull towards me, okay? I don't want to pull towards me like this, like this, okay? So pull out and pull like uh, on the pinky. This pinky, if I pull you out, not exactly straight forward, but a little bit out there, 10 degrees out there. And uh, I can get pull this way, so on his pinky, there's no way he can't resist, you know. If you pull on the pinky, okay, there's no way to resist. So, let's pull out, okay? So, not pulling exactly straight forward, a little bit out there. So again, here, elbow comes out, elbow comes out. So here, out, like out, that, on your chest, right, out. So, again, if you pull out on the pinky, so no way to resist, right? 